Howdy folks and welcome to the Hillbilly Kitchen. Today we're making Mama's Tuna Salad. Now this is a really simple recipe and it is exactly the way my mama made it with one exception. I use onion powder in mine. She would have cut up a good sized onion and put it in hers because she really, really loved onion. And I have an allergy that it is a migraine trigger for me so I cannot eat raw onion. I use the onion powder in mine. But other than that, we have two cans of tuna packed in water, the small ones, four hard boiled eggs. She always used two eggs per can of tuna when she was making it. It, um, it makes the flavor of the tuna far more palatable and it subdues it just a little bit. It also makes the tuna go a lot farther. And back when I was growing up, everybody had chickens, granny had plenty of chickens, so there was plenty of eggs it made tuna salad much cheaper because it made it go twice as far. I've got about half a cup of mayonnaise, maybe a little bit less, and you can adjust this to suit your taste. I've got about a quarter of a cup of sweet pickle relish. Again, adjust it to suit your taste. I'm putting about a tablespoon of lemon juice in mine, about a tablespoon of onion powder, and a little salt and pepper. Now, you can use any spice on this that goes with fish. Um, you can spice it up and make it a little bit hot if you want to. If you have some kind of seasoning blend that you put on fish, put it in here. And sometimes I'll add a little bit of like a, a red pepper spice to it to s just make it a little bit different. Anyway, we're going to start by mashing up our eggs. And for four eggs, I just use a good stiff fork. You can use a potato masher if you want to get out a food processor and clean that mess up. You can use a food processor, but this is much easier and faster than even cleaning a food processor. And by the time you add in getting it out, it's sure easier. You can also, if you're making a ton of it, you can just squeeze the eggs while they're warm with your hand and mash them up with your hand. And I have done that before, especially when Samantha had the yesteryear country market for potato salad and just anything that had eggs in it. We usually used our hands because it was so much faster. All right, and that's just about chopped up enough or mashed up enough or whatever you want to call it. And you can get them as fine as you want them or you can leave them bigger chunks if you want bigger chunks of eggs in yours. But once you get the egg in there, you do want to drain your tuna. Um, if you don't drain it, it will be way too runny. But I don't squeeze it out, you know, like super dry especially if you add that lemon juice, it'll make it a little runnier if you don't drain your tuna. Salads like tuna salad, egg salad, chicken salad, ham salad are absolutely wonderful for in the summertime because you can have dinner without heating up your kitchen. They're great for picnics and I'm just going to go ahead and dump everything in here, my lemon juice and onion powder, salt and pepper. If you're having little get togethers on, you know, you want to have some friends over and sit around on the porch or in the living room, make some sweet tea and make some tuna salad and some little finger sandwiches or serve it on crackers. Just put everything in there. It works great for that. If you're going on a picnic, you don't have to take extra stuff on your picnic. You just take the salad and you can take a loaf of bread and make sandwiches when you get there or whatever. But salads are great for the summertime. And then you just mix that all up. Now you can adjust the salt and pepper to suit your taste. I probably only had a quarter of a teaspoon of each. And I will probably adjust it once I get it mixed up and I taste it. You can adjust the mayonnaise and the pickle relish and all that stuff to suit your taste. Just make sure you get it all mixed up and get all your eggs mixed in there. Now, you can serve this on crackers, on croissants, on any kind of bread, or you can make some pasta. Just cook it according to the package directions, rinse it off with cold water, and serve it over pasta. And that used to be one of mine and Brett's favorite summertime meals, was some kind of salad like this served over pasta. 
we ate the tuna for years and he developed a fish allergy so then we went to chicken salad over pasta and i'll link that recipe in here too so you've got that for this summer but that literally is all there is to it and like i said you just put it on any kind of bread or cracker or croissant you can put it on a bed of lettuce. If you serve it over pasta, maybe cut up some fresh tomato and cucumber to go with it. And you've got just a wonderful summertime meal. Adjust everything to suit your taste. Add extra spices if you want to. It's your dinner, so you do what you want to with it. But this is the way my mama made it. Like I said, with the exception of substituting the onion powder for the fresh onion. And if you can eat fresh onion, certainly fresh onion. And maybe add some diced celery in it too if you want to. Before we go, I want to leave you with Luke 18, 14. I tell you, for everyone that exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humble himself shall be exalted. I think having pride is probably one of the greatest dangers of being human. When we tend to experience a little success, we look at things as what I've done or what I've had or what I've accomplished and we forget to give the Lord the credit for it. And there's a lot in the Bible about the dangers of pride. It is important as we experience the grace of God, the mercy of of forgiveness through Christ, the mercy that God has on us sinners to acknowledge the fact that all we have, that all we are, that all we have obtained is through God's grace and through His mercy. And certainly I want everyone to know that Jesus is my Lord and everything that I have, everything that I have accomplished, everything Anything that I have attained is only because I'm a sinner who has found mercy with the Lord. I want to thank you so much for joining us in the Hillbilly Kitchen. If you haven't already, please don't forget to click like and subscribe before you leave. Share our videos with your friends. And until next time, remember to put God first.